Hey everybody, welcome back. Thanks for joining me this afternoon. I am going to be doing a, an initial review on a hilt that I just uh, got in recently. This was a little Christmas present to myself. Uh, this is from the RPK Customs. This is Ryan's signature edition that he's calling it on his uh, website. It's his V2 that he put out, the V2 body, um, but it's it's kind of a, a combination of pretty much all the Luke versions. Uh, the main hero, the V2, the V3, uh, and even, he even gives us a, a mitter face or a mitter cap for the V4 that's seen in The Last Jedi. Uh, this is my first hilt from, from Ryan and, and RPK Customs. Uh, a lot of people have really enjoyed his V2 that he put out. Um, it's an FX hilt. It's gone through, I think he's on its, I want to say either generation four, his fourth generation one. Uh, it could be a gen five, I, I, I could be wrong on that. Uh, but I know it's gone through at least four different updates that, that he's done so far, I keep trying to make it more and more accurate. Uh, so what he ended up doing was he, he had this idea a couple months ago of uh, trying to kind of combine the, the other versions of the Return of the Jedi hilt. And I, I've, I've really wanted to see someone do something like this for a long time. Uh, you all know Luke's The Return of the Jedi Hilt's my favorite hilt. Uh, I really can go back and forth between which one's my favorite, the hero or the V2. Uh, I do enjoy the V3 and the Yuma, but uh, I, the, the hero and the V2 are, are where it's at for me. Um, but what he did here I thought was, was, was great. And um, th this is definitely going to be one of my favorite hilts to, to hold on to. Uh, so what he's gone and done is he's giving you four different emitter caps, okay? So as you can see here, I've got these laid out. So you have the emitter cap for the, the V4. You have a, a hero, hero cap, uh, also could also be used for the, the V2. Uh, one for the, the V3. And then also the dueling emitter cap that he's giving you as well. Uh, the one thing that I really liked about this, oh, and of course, the blade plug that goes along with the, uh, the V4 cap. Uh, I really, really enjoyed what he did with this. He painted this with a, uh, a 2K, um, I think enamel, I believe. I, don't, I can't remember if it was an enamel or an epoxy, but uh, he ended up here. You can see, so the neck on the V2 and the V3 has that little slash in it so this could rotate when you had the uh, the V2. This actually would spin. Uh, but this is all one solid piece as far as I know. Yeah. So the comes down here from the booster, unscrews. This is similar to if anyone's had a, uh, a Gen 1 Solos hold, it unscrews from there. It is a, uh, it's a solid pommel. Okay, there's no, there's no separate vented cap for this. Uh, sound is going to be vented through the the clamp area, and I believe the rest of it is all one solid piece. Okay, so you can see there's vented holes here and here. Uh, I'm pretty sure these are your switch holes, or at least your wire holes anyway. But I, I just really liked what he's done. He's gone and he's he's weathered everything. So he's given this that that aged you know bronze or that antique that aged antique gold that's uh that most people are, are thinking is the color for the 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 hero uh wind vein in here uh and just just keep in mind too that the original hero it, that's a painted color so that's not solid copper uh, neither is the the v3 those are those are both painted i think the v3 i want to say that's like a i think there's a foil tape and then it's painted over that if i'm not mistaken so, you know, there's a lot of vendors out there that are just giving us a copper neck, and that looks great. It's a really nice look, but the original look for it is it's a painted aluminum. So that's something that uh, there are some hilts that are coming out in the near future, some hero hilts on some runs that I am a part of, uh, that they are, it's going to be an aluminum uh, neck, and it's going to be, you know, you're going to end up having to paint it or treat it to get it to be uh, screen accurate, uh, which I really, really like that, that they're going ahead and they're doing that. Uh, so what I did here is I just grabbed a, a spare Romans clamp that I ended up having and put this on here. 
Uh, has really nice weight to it. It's empty right now, obviously. There's nothing in there, but to me, that's, this feels pretty darn good. And you just line up your clamp with the holes, the sound venting holes here. Okay. Um, I think I did that wrong, actually. Yes, I did. I had it on backwards. There we go. I just have a placeholder clamp card in this. The one thing that's nice is that you can do so many different combinations. You can keep an original clamp like this. You can do a V3 clamp with the holes in it. You can do a V2 lever. Uh, I'm thinking about doing a V3 clamp with a V2 lever. There's so much there's so many different combinations you can go about this. Uh, it's it's mind-boggling, and I think it's wonderful that Ryan put this out. The the highlight for me is that he is putting out a, a special clamp, or at least a clamp bar, that's going to have the gr the red and green hero arrows on the clamp. These are going to be drilled out, and the two acrylics are going to be in there, and they will be functioning, and they will light up. Uh, of course, if that's what you're looking for, if you're if you're going to install electronics inside it. Uh, that to me is going to be such a great look to this and it's going to really put the cherry on the cake for me. Uh, I really liked what he's gone and done. He did all the weathering on this. These all come on his site right now. If you go to it to, uh, to purchase it, I think it's RPK Customs. Uh, you can check out his Facebook page. He has that as well. And uh, Ryan's been very helpful. I asked him a couple of questions uh, about the clamp already. He's gotten back to me about that. Uh, so, like I said, he has done all the weathering, and I think he's done a really good job. I, th I told him that, that I thought he did a great job weathering this thing. To me, it kind of looks like a hero, you know, Luke's hero hilt, it, you know, if it had been sitting around, or at least, um, if it, you know, if he's gotten around the galaxy over the last 30 plus years. This, it, to me, it's like the perfect amount of weathering that's, that's gone into this. Uh, so, I really like that a lot. He supplies the D-ring. He even installed it for you. That was great. I didn't have to worry about doing that. Uh, he has the tapped holes already with the set screws in, just like on a uh, V2, V3. I might actually go in and put a cone knob in here, and I'm thinking about doing a mystery chunk to kind of mimic the, the V2. Uh, yeah, so many, so many great, great ideas. You can end up taking, yeah, you could take the, the dueling emitter if you wanted to, and you could put black all around this to make it more like the V3. Uh, I just, I really, really enjoyed what he's done with this. So uh, again, I, I can't wait to, to get this installed. I believe Goth has a chassis for this already, I think, uh, for the, for his V2 body, which obviously this, that's what this is. This is all based on his V2 body. So I, I plan on doing that. Uh, I don't think I'm going to do a, a crazy crystal chamber install. I just kind of want to get this installed because I probably will actually swing this around with, uh, with my kids a little bit and use this. This, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm really, really happy with, with how this came out. Uh, it does not have the, the imprint, the little stamp uh, in here, like the regular V2 pommel does. Uh, that, that's, but that really doesn't bother me that much. That's a, that's a small detail. Um, I, you know, but other than that, this, I, I am really happy with this. Inside, I don't know if I showed the inside the emitter already, is... This can be set for either a tri Cree or NeoPixel. Inside there. So, yeah, it's really whatever you're looking to, to do with this, to set it all up. I think you get the best of all the worlds for all the different Luke, the, all the, the Return of the Jedi fans out there that, that enjoy that hills. You can do pretty much any combination that you like, uh, especially when the arrows get in here and you can make those active. Uh, I think that's that's really going to make it that give it a great look. He's got a, a demo, I believe, or at least some photos on his site of what that's going to look like once that's all said and done. I think when I spoke to him last, he was in the the process of making all the clamps. Uh, so again, I'm not really sure if he's uh, if he's supplying the clamps uh, with the, the bars and everything, or if it's just or if it's just going to end up being the bar. That I'm not sure about. The picture itself looks like the clamp with the bars, but uh, again, I'll let I'll let Ryan. Uh, chime in on that and say what he's going to end up doing with that once it's all said and done. But yeah, so many, so many great combinations. I can't wait to get this thing done. Uh, and of course, when I, once I install it, I'll probably just do like another little review with uh, the final, the final look 
that I have of this. And, and you know, whatever clamp card you can put in too. I mean, I, I was thinking actually about using uh, the Graflex and Empire Strikes Back clamp card on that, but I wonder if that's sacrilegious because it's uh, you know, different, different health. But, you know, you could use a hero card in here. You could use a V3 card in here. Or, the, of course, right now I got like a little uh, V2 one. So, yeah, uh, I hope you guys take give this look. Uh, this this is definitely something that I couldn't wait to get my hands on once I saw him putting it out. So uh, I've enjoyed it. If you already have one of his V2s and you like it a lot and you're just a fan of the hilt itself, uh, I'm sure you'll still like this. Again, it's all, it's all based on that. But uh, overall, really happy with this. Uh, the machine quality feels great. I don't not like no sharp edges around the, the grenade section here, nothing around the pommel cubes. This all feels nice and smooth. Again, I'm really happy with the paint job that he did. I don't know if people just want to see this in here, all the weathering that he had already done on the hilt. And these all come weathered like this already. I don't know if you can get a clean one. That's something, again, you'd have to message him for that. But overall, really like this. So give it a look, guys. So two thumbs up from me. And uh, that's about it. All right, guys. Enjoy the rest of your afternoon. Take care.